try, try to keep the customer experience in mind as far as from first impression, starting the engine, running the engine for a long time, lasting almost forever, I should say, because things do break, but hopefully, uh, you know, better than anybody else. And then, make it easy for if you are do it yourself. Customer, these frame sizes here, much stronger, sturdy frame. Everything around here, frame. Some of the things that you don't see is there's an isolation between fuel tank and the frame to give you lower noise and lower vibrations. Uh, <clears throat> if you look at the wheels, you've seen some of our cat machines, it's really a miniature version of this <coughs> wheel as far as looks and feel, but it's a run, run flat, you know, it won't run flat. Uh, key thing is, it's got this bolted axle. A lot of people have those pins and they wobble around. This one is very sturdy. You take it around in the rough terrain, it still works. Okay. So that's that's the uh, that makes this product more like cat, you know, as far as some of the features make it rugged, more durable. Uh, <clears throat> when you uh, think about fuel tank, this is 30 liters. This is 17 liters, and it's class of portables at least 10% or 20% more than anybody else. <coughs> so what this means is you can run up to 15 hours versus typical 10, 8 to 12 hours of the competition. So you don't have to change the fuel as often. If you look at the noise, we have a uh, muffler on the other side. You can see on this side, uh, we have added some more sound attenuation, uh, absorbing materials. We have very specialized isolation mounts on those so that those vibrations don't get mounted and those also cause noise. So those are the kind of things that we've done to make sure that this is the lower, lower noise product, including like side panels, for example, they absorb the noise. The larger fuel tank doesn't let the noise go too far up, things of that nature. For simple maintenance, you got easy to access oil. Another cool thing that you can see, you may not be able to see, but there's an oil drain port right here. So if you want to get the, even the last thing out, all you have to do is put a tray very convenient place. Otherwise, you got to push tray or something underneath, tilt it a little bit, you got all of the oil out. Everything that you need to start, there are five elements that you need, okay? You got the choke, old style, it's easy to kind of understand. A lot of people know that. Fuel valve, on off, and you got this uh, <coughs> uh, start or, or shut off, right? And uh, this is the 3600, but there's a third one here. You'll see in the other product, if you have an electric start, you just turn. Uh, another thing is, we have DFCI protection. Nobody else has got it. Uh, this is steel panel, it's more rugged. We also added little things like LED light here. So in the nighttime, if you're operating it, you at least can see all the how you're plugging it in. Simple things like that, which are useful for the customers. We got lithium ion battery for electric star. Okay. So this is two to three times last longer plus last longer between charge. So for one year you can go without charge. Normally you you use this kind of stuff in seasons in northeast during winters, Florida during hurricane season, so you could not be starting, but this was first of all is yeah. for some reason it's you didn't use it for say two years or three years. All you have to do is pull start, and we got integrated battery charging. You have to plug uh, from the outer wall and keep it charged and stuff. As soon as you pull start, it starts charging.